Good morning, I'm Christine Weber with the Metro Area Chamber of Commerce, and today we are with Chamber member Flex Metal Arts, and we are with Kim Baxter, she's the owner. Hi, Kim. Hi, how are you today? Good, Thanks. how are you? Coming out. Oh, absolutely. So we wanted to come out and we wanted to feature some great products that Kim has and also classes that she has to offer. So we're gonna start looking at some of the products that you have. So Kim, tell us about the retail, how they can get them. Can you buy online? Do they have to come into the store? And about who does some of the artwork? Absolutely. So uh, our gallery features the work of 20, over 20 different local artists. Everything is handmade. And it's a nice range of work, um, anywhere from artists we've invited in that you might see at the area uh, shows and fairs, and also some of our instructors. And we are an incubator for some of our students too. So as they grow in their skills and their designs, we encourage them to get their jewelry um, kind of like out there and find new fans and we promote them that way. So you're going to find a range of work. Um, most of it is in silver, but we do have copper, brass, um, enamel work, which you can see up on the wall here. This is Belinda Mariani, and she does uh, classes for us for enameling. And then down here is uh, a range of, of work from various uh, instructors. So we have Catherine Davies Cades and Ellen Kohler, um, so. Now Kim, do they come here to make this jewelry or do they make it, you know, in their own shop and then bring it to you for sale or how does that work? So majority of the artists work out of their home studio. Okay. But we also do open studio and bench rental here at Flux Metal Arts. So they can come in and use our tools and supplies and just have a, a quiet, creative space to work where they don't have to worry about the interruptions at home. Sure. That's what I was wondering, because I'm like, how would that work? And maybe they didn't have all the tools, especially if they're just getting started. Mm -hmm. I would imagine some of the tools can be pricey when you're first getting going and learning, as opposed to, like you just said, you could run a bench and then yes. come in and, yes. and learn. So that's, that's awesome. Would you like to see the yes, let's, yes, yes, let's actually go back there and take a look. So this is our classroom uh, at Flux Metal Arts, and every person that comes in and uses our studio gets their own dedicated bench. And the benches are stocked with all the basic hand tools that they could possibly need for a class. Um, so we make it easy for people to come in and work or learn and they don't have to worry about the initial sticker shock of building their own set of tools mm -hmm. um, in order to try something that they may or may not know that they'll like. Uh, so uh, with the benches, you know, we're very well set up. Um, so. But as you can see, you know, we've also adapted for these current days of uh, basically everybody's got a sneeze guard and we've spaced out the benches and we have also have a camera that is over our teaching bench here that will shoot and uh, you can see everything up close up on the TV screen so you don't have to gather around and get in close proximity to everybody else. So we make it easy to social distance here as well. Kim, I wanna ask you, how did you come up with the concept? Now you've been a chamber member since 2013 and I think that's about when you opened as well because yes. you became a member right away. So what made you even decide, I mean, where did you get this concept? I, you know, I mean, I love jewelry, but I certainly wouldn't think about making my own and I certainly wouldn't think about owning a shop like this. So how, do you, how did you come up with that idea? Uh, it was uh, something that kind of naturally evolved. So uh, for 15 and a half years, I taught part-time at Lakeland Community College in their jewelry metals program there. And during that time, I was also doing the outdoor shows and fairs, selling my own work. Mm -hmm. And there was a group of us that kind of got together and had our own little independent co-op studio. And um, during that time, it, people were asking where they could learn, 
there weren't really any options at the time on the east side other than Lakeland Community College and not everybody could commit to the 16 week semester or the times that were allowed. Um, so what we do is we focus on Saturday workshops and also evening intro to jewelry classes or some fun make and takes that we will schedule periodically in an evening on a weekday. Mm -hmm. So we make it easy for those working the nine to five to enjoy a new creative um, approach if, if it you know piques their interest. Well, that's good too, because if they are budding artists and but mm -hmm. they have a full-time job during the day to support their hope their hopes and dreams of the mm -hmm. new upcoming career, that's wonderful that you offer um, evening schedules so that they have options as opposed to mm -hmm. just day. So that is, that's wonderful. Um, do you want to take a look around at some of those other, or now, do they buy the materials from you here? Like I see um, stones and stuff like that, or do they mm -hmm. come in with most of their own things in metal, or how does, how does that work? Oh, so thanks for asking. Um, so with the classes, uh, there's either the materials are already included. Okay. Or uh, if it's an instructor that um, that's we bring in, uh, they reimburse the instructor for the material. Okay. And so again, they don't have to worry about having that worry of materials being wrong with their ordered or they're arriving late. Okay. And they have just what they need for the class. Um, but during the class, um, because we have tools stocked in their benches, if they find a tool that they really, really like and they want to go home with it, uh, they can shop from our supply store here. And we're a distributor for five different um, tool companies uh, that focus on jewelry making. And so uh, basically with that, they can pick up what they need and leave directly from here. They don't have to worry about online ordering from another company and waiting for it to come in. Now, okay, so like myself, I have no creativity in my bones at all. So if I wanted to come in, in here, do you have like classes for like, if I just wanted to bring six of my friends in here just to have a night out with my friends and to learn, you know, so, uh, you know, even if it wouldn't be perfect, obviously it wouldn't be perfect, but you know, to learn a new skill or anything like that, do you offer anything like that? Do you get people that come in just to have like a little social time with friends mm -hmm. and family? Yes, we do. So um, we are always happy to make arrangements for you and a group of your friends to come in. Uh, we even offer private lessons um, and we can custom tailor it to you and your group. Okay. So we can make it easy, enjoyable, um, and you leave wearing something that you made. Mm -hmm. um, so we can accommodate a two or three hour class in the evening easily. Um, and it just depends on the group's interest and we, we're always happy to, to work with that. Cause I'm thinking like, um, you know, bachelorette party type oh, thing. Yeah. You know, that yeah. would be fun for ladies to come in here and maybe make a pair of earrings that they're gonna wear the day of the wedding. So actually my niece is getting married, so I think I'll mention this to her. <laughs> and she's actually a very good artist, so she'd uh -huh. probably be very interested. Yeah. So I think I'll mention that to her and see if she would want to do something like that. But um, So that's great. So how can people sign up for classes? Where can they get more information um, about what you have to offer? So they can go to our website, uh, fluxmetalarts.com. And on there, they can find all the information about our classes. We have a whole class page. Also, if they're interested in getting a taste of what we offer in the gallery, we do have a gallery page where they can shop some items from the gallery page, although we can't put everything on the, on the sure. website for the gallery just because we're constantly getting in new things and we're constantly selling things. Um, so. And of course, our tools and supplies are on there too, so. Wonderful, and do you have a Facebook page? We do, uh, we have a Facebook page, that's Flux Metal Arts. And our, we also have an Instagram, which is also Flux Metal Arts. And your web pages as well? And the, the website is Flux Metal Arts as well? Dot com. Okay, and let's tell everybody where you're located. So we are at 8827 Mentor Avenue here on right across the street from Heinen's uh, next to the big new discount tire and um, yeah we're here 
Uh, basically, current hours are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then Fridays and Saturdays, we are open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, let's go take a quick look again at a couple more pieces because um, Easter's coming up. Oh, yeah. Okay. And maybe people would like to come in and shop for their families because there's some beautiful pieces I'm looking at here. Mm -hmm. Great colors mm -hmm. for the spring. Yep. Kim, do you have anything in any of these cases that you've made? Uh, you know, we have so much work right now that I don't have any in the case. You don't? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm wearing a piece. <laughs> All right. Just in time for spring. There this you is go. One I made. That's adorable. Um, so, yeah, I love working in silver. Um, so, but um, I think right now it's like I love to promote like the talents of the sure. area and That's then wonderful. you know as we sell work and we're waiting for more I kind of slip stuff in so you'll see like new things of mine just kind of popping in just for fun oh, and wonderful. then usually it just finds a new home. <laughs> Um, you mentioned something about that um, it's going to be on um, Channel 8. Oh, yeah. So do you want to talk about that real quick, too? Yeah, so we're excited to share that uh, Fox 8, uh, New Day Cleveland, will be doing a um, special, one hour special on April 5th of things to do in the city of Menor. And um, we're uh, lucky to be and grateful to be uh, part of that show along with so many other uh, area businesses as well. Wonderful. And we're going to try to find out who all is going to be included so that we can let everybody know um, to support that and, and take a look and see what we have to do in Menor because there is so much to do here. So, yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Is there anything else? Do you have any plans for the future, Kim? Any expansions or other things that you guys would like to do here that you want to talk about? I know it's hard, right? I know we're all just trying to get through the last year, so it's a little harder to think about the future, but, um, you know, we're very happy that you've been able to sustain and that you're still here with us, but yeah. is there anything that maybe even just a, a dream that you have that you'd like to do you down the road? Um, we've been really happy with being in the city of Menor and um, so grateful for the city and the whole Northeast Ohio area. We are a destination place for our classes. So we, we do more than just Menor or Lake County. Um, people come from all over. And so we're just so grateful for their support right now. Um, now that things seem to be improving, um, it's nice to see uh, that we can finally start to expand our class offerings again. Mm -hmm. And um, so that is really what I'm looking forward to right now is that continued um, expansion of the class offerings considering how much we had to try to scale them sure. back. Sure. Um, so. Well, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being with us today and letting us come in and view your store and get word out about your company. So and we appreciate that you do business in Menor and I know your husband has a business here as well and we appreciate that too. So thank you for being with us today, and we'll look forward to the um, special on Fox 8. Yeah, thank you so much for coming out.